Hello, my little friends. How are you doing? This is Marcy. I am here on this Starship Crochet on this wintry, mixy afternoon. Ah, okay. That, that kind of doesn't sound right. Let me try it again. <laughs> Oh, bonjour, mon ami. How are you doing? We are going to do, boom, 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 Valentine's Day hearts. Yes. So you can hand hearts out to people, uh, or you can maybe make them into earrings, or you can maybe glue a clip on it, and you can have like a little barrette, <laughs> which I obviously did not do, but you can do that. You have a little hair clip. Uh, and then you got the big heart right here. So this, this here is basically these, uh, on the inside. I know the size is a little different. This one I did a little bit differently. I forgot how, but, um, uh, we're going to go over and we're going to do this one. Ah! Oh yes. So this way you can, you can, uh, make it and you can just leave it like this, uh, with the smallness of it. <laughs> Or what you can do is you can continue on. So what you do is you end it with a slip stitch. Uh, but you can continue on and make it bigger. So it's like this. Yeah. Okay. So let's... Uh, oh, one more thing. Um, I did start on my next project. The Darkwing Duck. It is coming out quite good. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> small yes and hopefully it will end up looking like this i'm very excited because darkwing is my favorite um but you know once you learn how to crochet and everything you can you can do a lot of things uh this has happened to be a again corner to corner it's not going to be as painstaking as the last one uh not that i didn't enjoy doing it i did um I had to kind of go through and fix a few things and, and stuff because there was, uh, well, again, it was my first corner to corner and you learn a few things. So I'm, I'm learning, you know, finishing learning on these. So in other words, when you're doing your corner to corners, make sure you leave long tails on both sides. Don't clip them. What you do is you want to weave them in really, really, really well. Uh, and then you can, you know, clip the ends underneath after you, uh, sew them in. So anyway, that's that. Uh, you saw that in the other video, in the long video. It was a good video. I hope it was a good video. Okay. All right. Let's get to the, the little hearts because I heart you. Hello, Zena Kitty. <laughs> All right. And here we go. Um, I've got my hook set for, 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 for crochet. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys are having a good day. We've just got like a winter storm and everything here and it's uh it's starting to pan out a little bit. But I uh elected to stay home because I do not want to drive in this icky weather. I don't like it the winter. Well, I don't like it the ice. I don't like it the snow. I don't like it the cold. I don't know why I'm still in New York. I don't know why I'm talking like this. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I thought we'd do for Valentine's Day these little heart appliques. And uh, I'll do two sizes. I'll the first one you can like stop at if you want to do that. And then the second one will I'll do like a little medium of like a medium one. I did uh there's a few different ones that I've uh that I've done. And uh well, we're going to do we're going to do this one. Yeah, I didn't want to uh, I didn't know if it was going to show up very well if I did the blue, so I thought I'd do the pink, but that's also Valentine's Day. So you can make a whole lot of these. You can give them out. You can maybe attach them to your to a shirt or something. Um, and I'm going to make sure that uh, this thing doesn't move. <laughs> uh, righty then. So we're going to start out with... Uh, now, what you can... I, you can, if you want to, you can do... Um, chain I think about uh, let's see chain four and then you slip uh, stitch into the first uh, into the first stitch and that's creating a small ring and then you go you're gonna be working inside that ring but I'm gonna make a magic ring uh, so what we're gonna do here and I kind of do mine a little funky here let's see what you're gonna do is you're gonna go around uh, you're gonna hold it here 
you're gonna cross it over. Oh, hold on. There you go. Hold it here and across over, and you're gonna cross up like that, and you're gonna hold it. Then what I do is I go in, I go under this one, and I scoop it up, and then I give it a little give, and then I scoop up again, and then I pull it through. Ta-da! And now you've created the magic ring. And I am going to uh, chain two. Da 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 da. <laughs> All righty. So now what I'm going to do, uh, we're going to start out. We're going to do three triple crochets. So one, you're going to yarn over twice. You're going to go in. And you're going to go under once, under twice, under three times. Da 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 da. Uh, so it's the same thing as a double crochet, but with an extra loop or an extra yarn over. Now, why I like the magic ring is because one, I get enough room. I don't have to fight in the middle. But although if you do create the ring with the stitches, um, it'll get easier every time you go in. Um, but I just like the magic ring better because uh, then I can kind of control it and stuff. Uh, so we got two more that right here. Uh, and it's going to pull that down. And triple crochet, triple crochet. Now I'm not going to sing that song again. <laughs> um, I finished my Eiffel Tower. Uh, that's what I, But I'm doing another project, so I've got some yarns on a bobbin. Um, okay, third treble crochet, one, two, treble or triple, whichever you want to call it. Uh, yarn over, go into the magic ring. Let's see. Ooh. Pull it through once, pull it through twice, and da 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 da. Now, so this way you can kind of move it over here. Now, we're going to do, uh, I think, four doubles. Four double crochets so let's see there's one whoop there you go two and these are real easy there's a lot of different variations uh three um let's see and Four. See, you can see it starting to form the half of the heart. So, um, yeah, this now this way I was working over the string here, and now I can give it a little bit of a tug and can close up that ring a little bit. Um, but, yeah, so uh, there's a lot of different variations. Some start out with, um, like, like, three triples, three doubles. Uh, it can be, you know... Uh, um, three and four, four and four, whatever. How, you know, there's, like I said, there's a lot of different ways to make the crochet hearts, but um, I like this one. It was, it's, it's easy. And it's the one that stuck out in my mind. So now we're going to do, let's see, we did the three doubles and now we're going to do another triple. I'm going to go in there and one, two and three. And now we're going to, I think, chain one. Uh, let's see. And now, now that you know what you got here, now we're just going to do the reverse. We're just going to go backwards now. So now that we got the triple, we got the chain one. So now we're going to do three double crochets, because that's what we did on this side, followed by three triple, four double crochets, followed by three triple crochets. Okay, so let's do those double crochets. I'm going to do four of them. I hope I did four of them on the other side. Sometimes when I talk, I just lose track. It's like, no, but it should be four and four on each side. Okay. Uh, three, get in there. Uh, okay. And four. Okay. Now we're going to do three triples. That's going to be one. Hi, cinnamon. 
For once, I have no animals trying to get in my way. Whoops. Of course, I was distracted. <laughs> Hang on. Alright, triple, 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 triple. One, two. There we go. One, two, three. And one more triple crochet. One, two, three. Alright. We're going to chain two. One, two. Okay. Oh, see, I had a little trouble because this was in my way and I didn't realize it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a slip stitch in the middle. I'm just going to keep that little thingy out of my way. All right. So we're going to do a slip stitch right in the middle. All right. And give it a tug. There you go. And then, bam, now you have uh, you have your heart. So that's the small heart. So you can fasten off if you want and then cut it. Uh, but from here, I'm going to show you how to uh, increase it by another size. All right, let's see if I can remember this. All right, so let's see. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go back here because I'm not going to fasten off. <laughs> That was just an example. So now what we're going to do is we're going to increase a, uh, a size to make it a little bit bigger in case you want to make a bigger heart. Or like I said, you can just take this and go in and fasten off. Uh, and then you can, you know, weave in your ends and stuff and then you can give out some hearts to people. Uh, but we're going to do the increase again. Let's hope I remember it. So let's see, we're going to go into the first uh, space. It's right in here that we created when we did that uh, the one, two, three over there, the first one, um, when we chain two. So we're gonna do three um, single crochets. One, whoop, two, and th three. Okay. I have more animal interruptions that I can deal with. <laughs> All right, so we've got the, uh, the, the the three single crochets right here. So now what we're gonna do next, in each of the next three stitches here, one, two, and three, we're gonna do three double crochets in each one. So you're gonna yarn over, go right into the stitch, not the space, but the stitch. So let's see, that's one. I'll tug there. And then that's two and then there is three in that one now in the next one we're going to do three again one two three and then once more we're going to do three in the next one one two, three. Yay! Now in the next three, we're going to do one double crochet. Okay, so let's see. One, and then the next one again. One, and then the next one again. One, and then in the next one, we're going to do three no, I'm sorry, two. We're going to do two double crochets in the next one. So that is uno and dos. Yay! Now we're at the point. Yahoo! So now we're going to do a double crochet into that next stitch. A triple crochet. That means you go around to yarn twice. One two, and a three, and then a double. There you are, right at the point. So now we're going to go backwards so you can get that feeling of deja vu. So now you're going to do two. Is that, was that right? Let's see. Yep, that's right. Okay, so you're going to do two in the next one, 
And it likes to hide for some reason. Uh, I had a couple interruptions, so I've had to redo this a couple times. All right, one and two. Get in there. There we go. Now we're going to do th uh, one double crochet in the next three. So that is un, de, and trois. Okay, so you can see now we're just starting to get a little bigger. Woohoo! And now we're going to do the three in the next three. So that is, uh, yeah, right, three in the next three. Three doubles in the next three. So that's one double, two double, three double, and again. One double, two double, three double, oh. and then once more, one, two, and here's the cat once again, cat likes to visit. And three, okay. Now we're gonna do one double crochet in the next one. Because for some reason, doing it my other way didn't have a lot of height to it. Uh, all right, now we're gonna do a single crochet right down here in the space. Yeah, da da da. And then we're gonna go right down in here, not like the, f the first one, but like right over here just like right there. Just I'm going to do a slip stitch. And there. And then we are going to and then we're just going to cut it and fasten off. And then there. So now you can give little hearts to people, or big hearts, depending. Yeah, la 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 la. So now what you can do is you can weave in your ends. Uh, <laughs> weave in your ends maybe like throughout here and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Alrighty, so that be that, and I hope you guys have a nice and safe, happy Valentine's Day, and maybe I'll do another one if I think of something to uh, to do. And again, I am sorry about my space. This is all I got. <laughs> Alright, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!